Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen from VanVeenBulbs.com. In this segment, we're going to learn all about the Mandevilla plant, or Mandevilla, or the Mandeville. So it's spelled a lot of different ways, too, M-A-N-D-E-V-I-L-L-A, -L -L -A or M-A-N-D-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Either way, it's a beautiful plant and one of my favorites in my garden. So the Mandevilla is a vine, so it's got to have something to grab onto. So whether it's uh, just a wires or an arch or up against a rose bush or up against a trellis, it'll grab onto whatever you let it grab onto. And it is not winter hardy in cold climates. So here in the Northwest, I cannot leave it outside. So I leave it in a beautiful pot and with a beautiful trellis or I guess this is a nice metal art trellis. The best location for a mandevilla is actually not in the full hot sun all day. I've noticed where I have it in the hottest afternoon sun, sometimes it, they get a little bit sunburnt or they don't look as well, is they're in a little bit of that late, late afternoon shade. So especially under a patio or along a fence where just that fence shades it out for a couple hours of the afternoon, they love it there. They love heat. So if you can give them a little bit of shady heat, patio the side of the house between the fence that's still really hot next to rocks next to the sidewalks it loves it and you can grow it in some really cold climates you don't have to just grow tropical plants in the tropics you can grow them in the northwest you can grow them in the northeast you can grow them anywhere where you reach at least 70 degrees in the summertime and that's pretty much anywhere so they really like a lot of water when they're growing. That's what I've noticed. I've got to water it all the time. And I was just using compost and no fertilizer at all, and it just did not color up very well. So I used a little bit of fertilizer. So I really think to keep it blooming, you have to give it some kind of nutrition. So especially in the summertime, give it just a little bit of fertilizer. And then in the winter, when it's going to freeze, it's going to die back. So I'll just cut it back, take the stakes or take the metal out, and I'm going to throw it in the greenhouse, and I'm going to put it back out in the spring. So you can do that, or you can either throw it in the garage, or you can throw it in the basement, or even I've thrown it in the kitchen before underneath in the corner where no one even bothered to look, and just left it dry with a little bit of water so that the roots don't dry out completely, and then put it back out in about May, June, whenever it's 70 and above consistently for a week. That's my rule. And it comes back and grows year to year. It's one of my favorite plants, and I pre pretty much anyone can grow it. It's a very easy plant to grow.